Hello everybody. Welcome to my home and welcome to my art room. I'm Sam or Sam I am. I hope you all are doing fantabulistic because I am. I'm excited to be here with you guys getting close to Christmas. I'm not doing very many Christmas projects. I'm just not in the mood to do Christmas projects. Not really in the mood for Christmas. But I'd rather do something else. And I need some colors to do it. If you've been here before, you know I use a number generating app to get my colors. I have, to date, 391 different colors. And I've numbered them all. Well, I put the parameters of 1 through 391 and I hit generate. I do that four times. When those four colors are generated, I have to use those four colors in my project. Now I can add additional colors, the embellishments, and I can pick the project. I just have to use the four colors that we generated. And I do this because I needed help getting my colors. I was indecisive. I was picking the same colors. I just was getting frustrated because I'm like, I want to do something different, but I can't think what's going to look good together, what's not. So that's why I came up with this. With all these colors, you know, I could come up with good combinations. And I have. I've come up with some really good ones. And you know, there's some not so good ones that are going to come up. That's when I can call a mulligan. A mulligan would be if one or more of the colors that was generated is just not going to work with the colors that we have, no matter how I mix it, change it, it's just not going to work. Then I can generate a new number for a new color. And that's a mulligan. I try not to do that, but I have to sometimes because this is basically a guide uh, for my indecisiveness to help pick colors. But we don't want to waste resin. I know you don't want to see me waste resin. It's just a way to guide me and get some beautiful projects from beautiful colors. So now that I have said all that and explained it, I hope you understand as more as I go on, you'll see it. Oh, let me move my vape. I should have that right there in the way. Don't vape. Do as I say, not as I say. I mean, do as I say, not as I do. All right, guys, let me generate some numbers here. 391. Generate. 240. I hope I get some of my new colors. I was just going to do a project with them, but nah, I'm going to do it this way. Because again, I couldn't decide which ones. Third number, 51. And last, 202. Okay, so we got 240, 321, 51, 202. Now, I will put you on hold, pull the colors, see if there's anything I'd like to add, embellishments to, and figure out what project we're going to do. You hang tight. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Before we get started on what we got, I wanted to show you some cool colors that I got today from Eye Candy. I don't know if you saw in the last video, but I'm now an affiliate with them. So I wanted to show you some new colors that I ordered and I got today. I was super excited. They came in two days. These are their color shifts. And, um, wait a minute. Do I got the right ones? These are, yeah, the color shifts. But not all of them are on here. I don't know why. But this is the Kiji. It's pretty. The Tobiko. I don't know where these names came from. Ruri. Look at that one. Sumo Wrestler. Uh, Amadori. Origami. Akibi, Fuji Sun, Shinto Shrine, Buddha, uh, Shisho. That's pretty. I love blues. See the green alcohol ink all on my hands? It exploded. Golden Pavilion. Geisha Doll. Heiku. Tongawa River. These are also pretty. Sushi Roll. I like that one. Zen Gardens. Okinawa Sunset. Love that one. 
Land of the Rising Sun. I just think they're cool. Sapporo. Isn't that a beer? Kabuku. Pagoda Temple. Monitor Lizard. Kami. Tokyo Horizon. And Harajuku Girl. So this is a lot of samples you get. It's it's nice. That's what I do is I get their sample packs because there's so many choices. And if I find a color that I really, really like, then I'll order the big container of it. But I can get my cho choice, you know. But if I find one that I really, really like, like the 14 karat gold that I opened, I got in a sample. As soon as I opened it, I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. And I ordered the big container. Of it. It's the best way to... To do it, I think, and then you get exactly what you want. All right, got to take a sip of my drink. Excuse me. Now, let's go over the colors we got. All right. First, we got 240, which is Lemon by Pixis. It's an alcohol link. Then we got 321, Just Resin Pigment Paste in the color Bermuda Bay. Number 51 is by Rolio uh, Mica. It's a Persian it's Persian green. It is a mica. And then we got 202 which is an alcohol ink by Ranger. It's Lagoon. So I know you look at the yellow and you're thinking, oh my goodness, that's not going because these colors are fabulous. But yellow, I Googled it. I can add brown to yellow to get a khaki color. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a beach scene, something I'm not very good at, and I should be because I live on the coast, and that's something that everybody likes. So I'm going to attempt to do a beach scene on the tray. Now, I have these that I'm going to use down here with the brown. Guess what this is? These are bath salts from Dollar Tree. But look at the color. I mean, I put some resin in them and just set them, you know, overnight. They didn't dissipate or anything. They smell good, too. <laughs> I mean, I guess, if you like that kind of smell. Ooh. We got to put some resin on that quick. Okay. So, I've already got the resin mixed up. I've mixed up 16 ounces of my resin of choice. Excuse the, the label. It's been in a bath. ClearCast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. It's VOC free, it's a one to one ratio, and it cures crystal clear. I can tell you there's no smell. Really, there isn't. Um, it's great resin, it's budget friendly. I'm so glad I came across it. I try and pass that on to everybody I know because I love it. Okay, let's get mixing. Gotta figure out what we need here. I covered my board, got a nice new color. I ordered, it's, Apparently, this is contact wallpaper. Remember wallpaper? Everything was wallpaper. Everything. But I mean, it was some tacky wallpaper. Okay. Let's go. I need some room. Okay, we'll go with... We'll just split them up, then I'll figure it out. Man, I don't have my gloves on. I don't have a white. If I'd have been wearing gloves when I was playing with that, or holding that yellow, I wouldn't have had it all over my hands. Has this got a hole in it or something? Mm, I messed up my new board. All right, bear with me, y'all. Let me get my gloves on like a good girl. So is everybody ready for Christmas? I'm ready for December 26th or December 25th, the evening of. That's my favorite time. Everything's done and over with. Having some coffee with some desserts that my mom made. Enjoying all of the day's festivities that are finished. Okay, now back to where I was. My resin has been in a hot bath, so I've lost some time. When you use a hot bath, your 
working time is cut. Ooh, y'all see that? Almost had a miss. Yeah, I'm really not good at beach scenes and I know they're so popular and I have tried. And it's just one of those things that scares me, I guess, because I'm not very good, guys. But I'm gonna try. Because that's the only way you get to get better, right? You have to try. So just for you guys, I'm gonna try. There we go. Now, let's get mixing. Some sticks. All right, let's see which one we want to do the most of. Probably the sand is going to take the most. So I'm going to make this, let's hope, Base. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. This is brown from Sigwong 307. 1, 2, 3. Looks like burnt orange to me. Let's see what else I can put in here. Let me find a brown brown. I mean, that's brown, but let me find a darker brown. Where, where can they be? Here we go. How about coffee? This is going to take a little tweaking, y'all, so bear with me. I'm using the yellow, though, like the rules say. Maybe... I need a hint of white. What do y'all think? Let me try that. Looks like we went back to yellow. If I like that or not, y'all. There we go. Uh, that looks like sand. That looks lovely with this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have these out too. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. I was thinking maybe lay them in the beach. Aren't they beautiful? I think so. We'll see. Maybe we'll use them. I thought the colors would go nicely. All right, so we put all those in that one cup. That's for the beach. Now let's do some turquoise. This, I'm sorry, Bermuda Bay. And when you're working with paste, Oh, I haven't used this one. Oh, it's just about I'm holding on. I gotta open it. Oh, it's not hard to open. Yay! Normally, you gotta get this tool out and put poke a hole down in it. Okay, when you're working with paste, you want to mix them up. The whole container. Mix it all nice and good. Nice and good. This one makes it good. All right, and you want to scrape. Oh, well, with white, you want to do this, but with this uh, Bermuda Bay, we can use a little more, but it's very concentrated, so and we don't have a lot of resin, so that's all we need. When we use the white, I'll show you how much less we use. Okay, let's mix this Bermuda Bay up. Beautiful color.
Yeah, but pastes are highly concentrated, so a little goes a long way. Pretty color. I like it, I like it. All right, now, what's next? Let's do Ranger, Lagoon. She, 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 alcohol ink. Okay. That's 10. Let's see how that works out for us. Pretty color. This is the best way to show what color you actually have in this paper towel that's been used before, but it still has an available spot. You want to take your stick on a white paper towel and that's going to show you your color. So that's not bad. It'll look really nice with this, I think. We're going to find out together. That's the plan, man. Okay. Now let's do our green. Okay. Don't have a lot of resin, so that should be good. And just like a little spoonful. Okay. Move these out of the way since I'm finished with them. Let's see what we get with the green. And I didn't do like I'm supposed to do. Normally, I'll put in a little bit of um, resin with my mica and mix that up to make a paste. And then I'll add the rest of my resin. But I didn't do that this time. It's just way easier to mix everything. I need some of my drink, y'all. Excuse me. I'm very thirsty. It started me on a new medicine, and I think it's really um, making me tired and thirsty. Either that or it's just a coincidence. You know how that goes. Okay. There's my clear. All right. I've got everything used. So, now I'm going to make some white. I don't think I need this much, so I'm going to put that in the clear. It's not like I have room for a bunch of waves. All right, this is how you do the white. And this is Lorez's Angel White. And I got this, and it's a pigment paste, and I got this from Laura's Art Corner. This one was easy to order from her because I want everything on her site. It's all awesome. So I knew I wanted this one, so I got that. And then the rest of them are eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one can I get this week? All right, that's all you need. See, so yeah, I scraped both the front and the back of my stick, and whatever's left on the side is all I need. And that even might be a little too much because I have a small amount of resin. I didn't think about that. Let me... I'm going to wipe a little bit of this off. Because truly, you don't need a lot. And it's heavy. It'll weigh everything down. See how opaque that still is? Just taking all that out. 
stuff is the bomb. Alrighty, let's go. I am going to put down our stinky rocks. But how cool is that? $1.25 for some rocks. And I got two of every color. Just keep them suckers sealed when you can. Whew, this scent is called Roman Camille. Chamomile. Scented. How nice do they look? I think they look beautiful. Kind of put that up there. Okay, make sure it's below. Make sure nothing's sticking up. No, I'm sorry, below the lip edge, side of the mold. Okay, now let's pour our made color. I hope it looks okay, guys. certainly is not a very pretty color. It looks more like, what, butterscotch? Oh well. Okay, this should sink all in and we should be able to see some of those rocks that we put down. All right, now let's go with, which color is darker? This one. Everything's all up in my way. Oh, man. Okay. Great. Now let's go with the alcohol ink. Maybe I should mix in a blue. See green. Hmm. I don't know what to think, guys. I don't know if I like it or not. Let's see if I do some mixing, how that works.
Mm -mm. I think I should put some blue in, huh? I got this clear, so let's put some blue in. Um, which blue? Which blue should I use, guys? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Real quick. Pick, pick one. How about... Glacier. Or, to use a mica, go with dark ocean blue. I don't need much. I'm going to try a little bit of this. I don't need much because I love you. I'm trying to get the bag up and off. It's not easy. I need to wipe my hands. They're very resiny. Oh. Let's do a little bit of blue. Ocean blue, dark ocean blue from Eye Candy. Am I messing up, y'all? It's a beautiful color. All right. I think it looks very good. I need to bring some of this Bermuda Bay down here. I'm getting ready to lose time. That was kind of a lot. I think this looks terrible. Hmm. Um, there's nothing left in that. Not much in that. I don't need any more green. Oh, I thought that was the alcohol ink. <sighs> All right, that's all I'm doing with that. That's the best I can get. I want to try to put some waves in here. Let me move everything out of the way. Put, oh. oh 
Miss Dropsy. Okay. Get this ready and some people say use this one and some people say use this one and some people say use this one so I don't know which one to use so I'm gonna try this one because I think I've seen more people use this one than the other one that's the best way I can figure it out I mean I watch the tutorials and do what I can but I still can't do ways I think it needs to be thicker. All right, folks, there is nothing. Question. I know they say add clear and then put the white, but do you do that when you already have, when the, the resin you're working with is still uh, not cured? I don't know. I guess I'll try it. Let's try this.
Oh, there's some lacing going on. I'm going to just wait the back of my neck and I have resin on my hand. What a smart move, Sammy. Okay, I don't really think I can do any more white on this layer. I will do another layer and hopefully you have room to put more waves because we are right close to the top. I think we can do it. It seems like it's not level, but I checked it. See? Bam. Bam. No. All right. So in the next layer, we'll put the handles. That looks pretty. I don't get that with the Just Resin or the Cast and Craft. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, maybe I should do something down here. Like, put some sparkle in there. Let's see if I can do that. It's not exactly gold, but... I think it'll look pretty. It's okay. It's just wonderful. There. What do y'all think? A little better? I should bring it up some, shouldn't I? Go ahead and fill in as much of this ugly beige as we can. I, mean, I don't think it's bad for what we had to work with. Started out with yellow. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. I do, I do, I do. Hold that thought one second. I gotta find something. Just gotta remember which drawer. That one's going to be too big. See, wasn't that worth the wait? keep y'all I'll find them and I'll put them in there when I'm alone because you know you can't find anything when when you're trying to find something <laughs> you know what I mean when people are waiting on you I just don't know where it is I'll find it I'll do that while you're away oh look I found them this is what I wanted see all these baby sand dollars aren't they sweet Push that down in there. I had some more starfish. And we'll put 
I have some really teeny baby ones. These are these are big compared to the other ones I have. Really small. No. Oh. Shoot. I got the green off of my fingers. Darn it. Okay. I'm going to mess with this. I have some other shells I'd like to put in here. So when you come back, you'll see the other shells that I got. And you'll see what's happening with our ocean scene. I tried. I did try. Okay. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. I'm back with our tray. I think it turned out beautiful. Even if my waves aren't you know, perfecto. I think they'd look pretty good. I do. And I would put another layer on, but I don't have much room on top. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have enough to, for the clear coat, for the top coat. So that's what I'm going to do. To review our colors, uh, we had 240, which was lemon, an alcohol ink by Pixis. 321 is Bermuda Bay, a pigment paste from Just Resin. Then we have 51, which is Rolio Persian Green. Then uh, that's a mica powder. Then we had Alcohol Link number 202 Lagoon from Ranger. And I added to 51, no, I'm sorry, to 240, Brown 307 by Sigwong, 309 Coffee by Sigwong, 112, which is Pinata White, Blanco Blanco to make this lemon, this brown tan for our sand. And then for our waves, I use uh, Angel White from Lores, number 359. And I put in the Champagne Rocks, and so, or I put my Harmony Amazing Beauty and Soul bath salts in the flavor of Harmony, I mean, scent of Harmony. And it says, unique floral scented, known for their relaxing vibes, is your must-have collection. Oh, Roman chamomile scented. <laughs> I just had to read the full details for you guys. And then to give us some dark blue, I added eye candy, dark ocean blue. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, my resin has been sitting for 30 minutes, so it's gotten nice and thick to do our top coat. Let me go ahead and do that. And wish me luck. See how that does. Oh, and I'm sorry, I mixed up. Uh, what did I mix up? Uh, what did I mix up? Eight ounces. Sorry, guys. Now I was looking into some products. I won't give the name of the company. But I called, I've already been on the website to look at the information, to get the, you know, particulars about everything. Well, I still had additional questions, so I called, and I got some cat on the line that could have cared less that I was inquiring about a product that he's there to sell, or help sell, or answer questions about, at least. They said, you know what, is there somebody else I could talk to? He's like, well, I, I know the stuff. Or, you know, I know the information. And I was like, well, it's like pulling teeth out of you. I am sorry. I will just call that. 
So I had had an email from the company that I was able to reply to. So you know what I did. I told them that they need to have somebody answering their phones for customer support that knows what they're talking about. And that's important. I was just shocked. He could have cared less. I guess it's right before the holidays, so, but that doesn't matter. You should be in an even better mood. I don't know. I was just, I guess after providing customer service for so many years myself, I know what's expected. And I know it's not that hard to do. And if I can't give the information, I'm going to find out the information or find somebody that can give them the information. That's how you do a job and you do a job right, which <laughs> nowadays uh, people really, they feel like they we owe them everything just because they're there to do a job. And it's not everywhere, but when I do get somebody that cares and you know, doesn't mind answering questions or taking my order, you know, doing their job. And they don't mind or, you know, they don't feel like, you don't feel like you're bothering them. It's just different these days, I guess. I'm just taking this makeup brush and moving my resin all around, making sure I've covered the whole thing. You know, make sure your table is level, level, level. Okay, I have a little bit of resin left, but I can't put it on there. Well, I might be able to. Like I did a perfect amount. Eight ounces was weight. It was fabulous, darling. Just fabulous. And that is how we top coat our beautiful ocean tray. I mean, it's not exceptionally beautiful, but I think it's beautiful. Now I'm going to get making those waves down pat. We just have to keep practicing. Will you guys bear with me while I practice? Mm -hmm. I'm going to wipe my stick off real quick. And my little handy dandy. These are really great makeup. Um, uh, silicone makeup sticks, I guess is what you call it. Brush. I don't know. I'll see if I can find it and on Amazon and link it. I've learned how to link. So bear with me. I will do my best to link what I can. All right. Quickly and efficiently, let's pop any bubbles that we might have. Although I don't see any. The Chris, Chris, mm, Clearcast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store is awesome when it comes to doing crystal clear. Okay. So the next time I'm with you, we will have a cured tray and be ready to do mold it. All right, guys, hang tight. Hey, everybody, I'm back with our tray that's cured because I put it on the resin curing heat and plate or resin curing heat and plate. You know what I mean? The resin curing plate. Um, I stuck these handles in while we were gone, while you were gone. I forgot to do it while you were here. So I stuck them in so they look nice. It's nice and cured. It's time to come out. Let's see how we did with our colors that were chosen from the generator. And there it is. 
I had a little bit of overflow from the resin curing plate, but look, it came off. Yay! So I think we did good with the colors, don't you? This is a little jagged on top, but that's okay. That's okay. It still looks great. So there we go. There's our beautiful tray. Nice, nice. Our numbers did good this time. If you think I need a thumbs up, give me one. Give me a like if you liked my video. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. If you look down in the right hand corner, you'll see a red subscribe button. All you have to do is click it and you'll be subscribed. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you being here. Hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye.